Alright YouTube, it's where I fly in the kitchen in relation to yesterday's upload. upload. Uh, yesterday's upload was the new uh, folding cot I got for overnight in the woods. And I said I was still waiting for the Czechoslovakian army BV bag sleep, sleep system thing. Everyone says it's big and heavy. I thought it would be. Um, even a bloke today at work said he got one, it was too heavy, so he binned it. That's heavy. <laughs> it's not, well, yeah, that's, that's heavy. Right. Actually, I don't want to rip it. Okay, it's got tearaway strips. That was easy. Right, there it is. Ah. As described on the internet, it did come with straps to strap it up. I seem to have, yeah, other straps on the side in case I can fold it or magically make it go any thinner. Metal fasteners, uh, looks like an inch thick webbing. I mainly only got it because it's six foot six long. Well, it will, it will sleep me. I don't know what the length is, but it says suitable for people my lanky height. Right. This is real TV, people. None of this. Oh, it's fantastic kit. I've had this for years. Malarkey. This is unboxing as we speak. Oh, and it does fold into the hood. Yeah, it folds up into the hood. If anyone saw the previous video I'd done regarding this or any other videos about it, there's a few on YouTube. And now there's even, uh, there's another one. Just unfold it from the hood. Yeah, just as I thought. Well, uh, it looks brand new. Not a mark on it. I can't remember if it was new or second hand. Um, most of the weight is the bottom. It is like a ground sheet. This is supposed to be waterproof. It feels it. But uh, I could do with that spray on stuff for it. The ground sheet does look sufficient. Uh, the annoying thing is, the zips doesn't go way around. It's only on one side. But, um, There we go. That's the German Ar uh, Czech Army bivy bag sleep. S no, I can't remember the cord now. It consists of a cotton sheet. Cool, that's heavy. That's some real thick cotton. Down its own weighs a ton. And a war blanket. This item was worth buying just for the wall blanket the wall blanket's shaped like the bivy sack with like a little hood bit and it buttons into well they all button into each other uh, so you're better off obviously with layers than just one thick sleeping bag my sleeping bag is going to be going inside this um, obviously the layers are what I want and then I'm going to put it inside my existing German army bivy bag. So I'll have bivy bag, bivy bag, wall blanket, cotton sheet, sleeping bag. Now this on its own, this is classed as a linen, linen sheet, so you can take it out and wash it instead of having to keep washing the wall blanket because wool takes a long time to wash and even longer to dry. And obviously if it's not dry properly, it'll smell. And if it was used out in the field, you don't often get a lot of chance to dry it. So there we go. Button eyes all around this. Yeah, it's definitely brand new. There ain't a mark on it. Buttons all around it. All buttons together. Um, so I'm going to try and button it all up now. If I don't get back to you in a minute, I'll see you on the weekend. When I'm testing this thing out. Just waiting for the tarp to get here. 10 by 12, 10, 10 by 14 foot tarp. 
uh, all ordered at the same time and all coming at different times. But yeah, it's official, like everyone says, these things are heavy, they're not lightweight bits of kit. But I'm thinking, you know, all my gear goes in my cycle trailer and uh, cycle to vocation, winter's here. I'm going to compromise and take heavy stuff, but be comfortable and warm. Um, if it was summer, I'd be lightweight, I'd just be sleeping on the ground. My normal trick is a load of grass, loads of thick grass underneath the ground sheet and then sleep on that. But I just can't can't do it this time of year. So uh, we've got the bed, and we've got the uh, the sleep mat system thing here. Right, I've just buttoned in on the bottom and one side the uh, wall blanket. I'm gonna button in the ground sheet in a minute, but just having a little look at it now. The hood um, doubles back, folds back on itself. So you can have the hood this side and stuff it with jackets and jumpers or whatever for a pillow. Or you can flick it all the way over and probably still stuff it that way. Um, but I can see why people recommend these. People do say they are heavy, but they are bloody warm. A few people have said they've bought two. They liked it so much they bought another one. I can feel it's warm just by sort of doing this and I've just got in and it's hot but um yeah this is definitely a brand new thing it came from I think it was militarymart.com I'll put the link up in the description for this item and then you can have a little look around the site they've got so much nice stuff on there they've got the uh, the big army tents 10 10 person tents Patrol tents and so on, 500 quid. That's what I want. Oh, log burners a lot. Um, and they do, yeah, they do deals on the big army tents. 10, 12 person tent. If you buy a log burner, you get like 60 quid off if you buy them both together. Right. I'm going to go climb into this and go to sleep. And I'll catch you all Saturday when I'm out for the weekend in the woods. Okay, still doing the buttons. I've just come to the top and there's a pull cord either side. And when doing some research on these before I bought it, I did see one picture that was different from the rest. Apart from some have got orange blankets, some are green. Um, yeah, one looked like a mummy bag. And I overlooked it and thought, strange, maybe they made like a Mark II or a slightly different model. Because it had like um, a mummy type hood. Uh, not not the square one like this, but yeah, obviously they've got a pull cord, and you can pull that. Tie it up. Zip runs all the way around. That's how I saw it. Like that. And your face can just poke out. <laughs> I look a bit strange, but I'm going to be warm. Right, after a quick coffee, got to be quick because the sun's starting to go down now. It's just gone four. And there it is, folded up in half. It is quite big. It looks like it's about a foot squared, just over a foot square. And that's probably about eight inches thick. Compression, compression sack, or spider as I like to call them. But no one calls them. Um, we'd probably get it a bit smaller. But... Um, I don't think it's going to get much smaller. That's it before it's folded in half. Um, it's just like a very large pillow. So yeah, that would uh, obviously have to go externally on a rucksack if you're carrying it backpacking. But with the weight of it, it's just like the bed really. I got yesterday. I wouldn't be strapping these to my back. You've got to be fucking crazy to strap them to your back. Trying to get the air out of it, it's a fucking nightmare. I won't even go, well, sort of. <laughs> it's a beast, right. 
just took me about 20 minutes to button it all together. So uh, let's unroll it and have a little look. I mean, there's stacks of these on, on the internet for sale, various websites, eBay. Um, you can buy them anywhere. Absolutely anywhere, there's millions of them about. And lots of people have got them. But I'm yet to, for someone to give a bad remark. Someone did say you're going to freeze it unless you wear a sleeping bag. Um, just uh, unless you put a sleeping bag in it. And they left that comment after the status I put saying I'm going to use it with my sleeping bag. So apart from that person, um, there's, I've not seen any bad comments. Feedback about them. Um, any negative feedback I've seen on it is, as I said, yeah, the weight. But um, like in my experience, heavy stuff's warm. Oh, that's nice to walk on. That's really nice and thick. But yeah, they're like the heavier the jacket and jumper, normally they're pretty, pretty warm. But that that over me now, I reckon I'll be sweating. Um, yeah, I am indoors, but I think I'll be fine with that on the weekend. I won't need a sleeping bag. I'm taking my sleeping bag, but I don't think I'm going to need it. It's uh, slightly narrower at the bottom, um, but not by far, if you can just about make it out. It's probably about an inch or two thinner on each side. Uh, the zip comes from um, well, the right-hand corner all the way down and around the bottom to open it up like an envelope. But there's a second zip from that side to the middle only, which turns it into a mummy bag. <laughs> if we uh, just do it now, but to do that I need to reverse the hood. Hood reversed. There's the wool blanket beneath. That's the no, sorry. There's a cotton sheet beneath. That's the wool blanket. All buttoned in. All 480 odd buttons. <laughs> Near enough. And uh, yeah, you don't have to pull the cord like I said a second ago. You just zip it up. Metal zips all the way around, which are good. I can see some snagging of fingers and toes through the night. Okay, not so much toes, but you know what I mean. Um, metal. Metal zips are fantastic. There we go. Looks a bit like ET. Metal zips are fantastic, but if you've got a laying one, they are cold. Um, but they're obviously much, much, much stronger than the uh, plastic one. Right, now let's open it up and have a quick look. As I said, the bottom of it is waterproof. It's like a ground sheet. It's a really nice material. So you can lay this straight on the ground. But I'd rather put a pound chop bit of tarp underneath it just to make it last that little bit longer. I'll zip it down to uh, the bottom corner. So I won't open it fully. But I'll open it uh, so we can see. Kick open the hood. And I've just laid on it before I folded it up, and I fit, as I said before, I'm six foot six, and my ever sleeping bag comes up just short of my shoulders, I think. So on my sleeping bag, I have to like curl up in a ball. Right, with all the excitement, I think I broke my uh, tape measure the other day measuring my tent. Um, okay, that's seven foot two inches there, it's showing. Seven foot two inches. I can't remember what the actual measurement is. We we'll actually will call it seven foot, because that's probably an inch or two. I don't know, actually, that's got to be over seven foot long. I'm not going to give an official one, it's measuring seven foot two. Seven foot two, seven foot three. Um... Yeah, that was just measured it, but don't take that officially. Ah, my damn tape measure won't go back in. And wide. We've got two foot, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two foot six. So it's the same width as the British Army camp bed I've just bought. 
so that fit perfect so two foot six uh, wide and seven foot two long so um yeah like i said i'm six foot six let's get my feet right in the bottom of this loads of room still got a few inches below me shuffling down the bed or well, match sleeping system as far down as I can go with my legs straight until I actually hit the zip at the bottom so I think it's safe to say I've actually hit the zip at the bottom um, I can't go down any further and my legs are straight so that covers my shoulders nicely um, and there's still excess room above the pillow so it's definitely definitely long enough um, as I said I just measured it tonight the whole length of it was seven foot two but the important bit is how far this goes and as you can see it is coming right over my shoulders it is huge I know I've not zipped it up it's too hot to I've not zipped it up but this is massive um, get all my gears out in the garage my sleeping bag's packed away in my trailer I think somewhere Ugh. but people do say there is room, ample room in there um, for the sleeping bag and someone said once that they were quite a big chap can't remember if it was on here or Facebook but they said they were quite a big chap and they fit, they've got room to move that was it, it was a yank in America I think the video was, he had one of these on his trampoline in the garden and he said he was quite a large chap, didn't show himself, but I get the picture he wasn't as skinny as me. Um, so yeah, there we go. Right, I'll put a link in the description. I'm going to pack it away because I'm going to go to Halfords and get a new inner tube because the uh, puncher I got last night was on the seam of the tyre. And there was a bug at the fit. It went down last night. I can't be asked to try it again. I'm just going to go buy a new inner tube for the bike and then donate the inner tube from the bike with the puncher to uh, Ranger Bands. So I should have like on a, a few months worth of Ranger Bands due to the flat tyre I got on my bike yesterday. So all good, really. Um, yeah, yesterday I got the sleeping cot. Today I got the sleep system and a shed load of Ranger Bands. Whew. I am hot from lugging this about now. Right, catch you on Saturday.